Hi, welcome back to my channel Physics 15 SSM. We continue chapter 1 Forces and Motion 2 on topic 1.4 Elasticity Part 2. In this video, I will discuss on solving problems involving force and extension of a spring or Hooke's law. So there are many cases involving force and extension of a spring. For example, different arrangement of springs, meaning more than one spring arranged either in series or parallel or combination of arrangement. Okay, let's look at the first one. Arrangement of identical springs in series. At the same time, we want to discuss what happens to the value of spring constant k of a spring system. Okay, look at this one. This is series arrangement. So you can see there are two springs attached end to end. Okay, so the force that acts on each of the springs equals to weight of load or the force applied here. So each of the spring will experience same amount of force equals to force applied here or weight of load. Tension in the spring equals to force applied. Extension of one single spring is X. Because of using identical spring, meaning both spring have same value of spring constant. Thus, the relationship between F and X is directly proportional. So when the tension acts on each spring is equal to F, meaning each spring will extend by X. Thus, the total extension of the spring system is x plus x. When we want to discuss about the spring constant, assume the spring constant of a spring equals to k, one single spring. From Hooke's law, we get k equals to f divided by x. Force applied divided by extension. The new spring constant for the system. When we arrange the two spring in this a series arrangement, it will produce a new spring constant for the whole system of spring. Let's say we put as k1. k1 equals to f divided by x1. So for the whole system, x1 is total extension. So in this case, the total extension is 2x. Thus, k1 equals to f divided by 2x. We just rearrange, we get half bracket f divided by 2x. Above here, we have shown that the value of k for one single spring equals to 1 divided by x. Thus, we substitute here. So, we get k1 equals to half k. So, compared to one single spring, if you arrange two springs in series, the spring constant for the whole system will become half, meaning the spring system is less stiff. Okay, look at the second arrangement parallel. Now the two springs support this weight of load of force applied F. Thus, the tension in each spring is equal to force applied divided by 2. As we discussed in Hooke's law, F is directly proportional to X. Once the force applied becomes half, meaning extension in each spring also becomes half. Thus, in this case, the total extension of the spring system is X divided by 2. Let's look at what happened to the value of k for the whole system. We're still using the same spring. 
the value of spring constant is k, the k equals to f divided by x. The spring constant for the system means for the arrangement. Let's say we put as k2. Thus, using Hooke's law, we get f divided by x2. x2 is the total extension of the system. From here, we get x2 equals to x divided by 2. So, we substitute here, we get f divided by x divided by 2. So, rearrange this one, you will get 2 times f divided by x. F divided by x is the value of k for one single spring. Thus, the new spring tense constant for the system equals to 2k. So, the spring system is stiffer. So, what we can say about this arrangement? If you arrange the springs in series connection, it will cause the system or the spring system become less stiff meaning extension is greater with a bit soft for the second one parallel because of the spring constant is double or become bigger so this arrangement will produce spring system which is stiffer or not easily extend okay let's look at some example involving arrangement of spring example one a spring with original length 50 millimeter extends by 6 millimeter when stretched by a force of 12 newton calculate spring constant of the spring the force supply f is 12 newton extension of spring x 6 millimeter thus spring constant equals to f divided by x equals to 12 divided by 6. X, we use the unit millimeter. Thus, the unit for K equals to Newton millimeter to the power negative 1. If you look at the value or the unit here, spring constant is force supplied per unit length. So you can use in centimeter, you can use meter. But make sure you're careful with the unit. Eh? You know the unit that we use. Okay, example 2. Figure below shows arrangement of spring consisting of spring identical to the one mentioned in example 1. For arrangement, determine series arrangement. So for series arrangement, the tension is equal to weight of load hung here 12 newton so tension in each spring p and q is 12 newton p 12 newton q 12 newton part 2 extension of each spring equals to 6 millimeter because same amount of force 12 newton act on the spring thus extension remains 6 millimeter p extend by 6 millimeter Q also extend by 6 mm. Thus, the total extension equals to 6 plus 6, 12 mm. But for the total length of arrangement, means the original length of the spring, 50 mm, P is 50 mm, Q 50 mm, total extension 12 mm, so total is 112 mm. Or we can use this method for part 3 for example. This is two spring arranged in series. Thus, the spring system has the value of k equals to half of one spring. One spring is 2 newton millimeter to negative 1. So for two spring in series, it becomes 1 newton millimeter to the power negative 1. Then we use Hooke's law. The new extension x equals to force divided by k. The force supply equals to 12, k is 1. Thus, x equals to 12 millimeter. So, we get the value of total extension. 
Example 3, figure, figure below shows arrangement consisting of spring identical to the one mentioned in example 1 for arrangement determined. The same question eh, but we use a different arrangement. So this is parallel arrangement. Tension in each spring now R and S they share the same load. So divide the load equally meaning S will take 6 Newton, R will take 6 Newton. So the tension in each spring equals to 12 divided by 2, 6 Newton. Extension of the spring equals to, because of the force act on the spring, become half, meaning extension also become half. Thus, 6 divided by 2, 3 millimeter. The total extension equals to 3 millimeter. The total length. Length is total length because of the parallel arrangement. So total length we take as 50. Same as one single spring. So 50 plus total extension 3, we get 53 millimeter. Or you can use this method. For parallel arrangement, the spring system uh, K equals to double uh, 4 newton millimeter negative 1. Thus X equals to F divided by K, 12 divided by 4. So we get 3 millimeter. Okay, the total extension. So actually for the spring system, series arrangement and parallel arrangement, we can make a conclusion. For the series arrangement, for the spring system, the new k equals to k divided by n. Let's say you use n number of spring. If we use 2 means half k. If we use 3 means 1 over 3 k. Okay? And the value of extension is nx. If we use 2 spring meaning 2x become double. Okay? And so on. For parallel arrangement for n spring, the value of k become nk. If we use 2 spring is 2k. We use 3 spring, 3k. And the value of x equals to x divided by n. If we use 2k, for example, if we use n equals to 2, then x1 equals to x divided by 2 and so on. Okay? So you can use this relationship. One other method. Okay? If you can understand this one, you can use this one. Okay? Okay, figure uh, example 4. Now there is a combination of series and parallel. Okay, we want to answer the same question. The tension in each spring, so we have spring T, U, V and W. Now we look at the series part first. T, U, V is in series with W. Meaning W will experience force 12 Newton. T, U, V will share the load 12 Newton. So for series, tension equals to 12 Newton because here is only one single spring. Okay, And then parallel part, TUV, they will share the load 12 Newton. That's the tension, 12 divided by 3 equals to 4 Newton. Meaning T, 4 Newton, U, 4 Newton, V, 4 Newton. And W is 12 Newton. Okay, The extension of each springs Remember, F directly proportional to X. So, T, U, V, you can see the, the load now become 4, meaning 12 divided by 3. Thus, the extension also divide by 3. So, 6 divided by 3, 2 millimeter. Meaning, T extend 2 millimeter, U extend 2 millimeter, T extend 2 millimeter. So, for this part, the total extension is 2 millimeter. And W, F is 12 Newton. Thus, thus extend by 6 millimeter. So the total extension, 2 plus 6, 8 millimeter. The total length of arrangement of springs, the parallel part here, 50 millimeter. W, 50 millimeter. Total extension, 8 millimeter. Thus, we total 50 plus 50 plus 8, 108. Millimeter. Okay, so this one is how we solve problem, especially involving combination of arrangement of springs. Okay, you can try more example on this. 
So you must know also how to use eh, Hooke's law in order to get the answer. So you can try formative practice 1.4 and then you can come back and check the answer later in my next video. Okay, so I stop here now. Bye.